Welcome back, guys. On August 11th, the Big Ten announced that they would be postponing their fall football season to spring as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. That decision lasted 36 days. Today, the conference announcing that they will resume play on a fall season a little over a month from now on October 24th. This was only possible, however, with an agreement to new safety guidelines. The conference will require student athletes, coaches, trainers, and other individuals who are on the field for practices and games to undergo daily antigen testing. All student athletes who test positive won't be allowed to return to game competition at the earliest until 21 days after their first positive test. On top of that, only families of players and staff will be allowed to attend games, meaning no fans. Nebraska was one of the most outspoken schools since the August 11th decision, and today Athletic Director Bill Moose and UNL Chancellor Ronnie Green discussing the big win for Husker Nation. Players want to play, our coaches want to coach, and our fans want to watch. And uh, we're going to be able to do all these things now, and, and that's why it is a celebration. Uh, and I believe, uh, and, and very strongly, that the state of Nebraska, Nebraska needs football. And believe me, uh, in the world I live in, football needs Nebraska. Daily testing is set to begin by September 30th, and the conference will be monitoring teams' positivity rates. If a team exceeds 5% of the population's positivity rate or exceeds 7.5% total, they must stop practice and play for seven days. All new policies that Nebraska has them confident that the safe decision was for the best for their student athletes. There's no conference in the country that is uh, more uh, detailed in our testing and the requirements to return to play, and this is going to continue throughout the season. So um, it's important that uh, the central theme remains the health and safety of our student athletes. What's different today than what the case was a month ago when we were going through this decision-making process? Uh, process in, in early August is that availability of those point of care tests and the ability to administer that to know that we have that capacity in order to have that clean field and to have that in place for the student athletes. Shortly after the conference decided to postpone the season in August, Commissioner Kevin Warren said that that decision wouldn't be revisited and was final. However, with Nebraska, Ohio State, and Iowa seemingly leading a push to push back on that decision, it appears that all of their efforts ended up in them getting exactly what they wanted. We were outspoken, both Scott and me, and uh, uh, again, we're at a different, we're in a different location here in this footprint, and it is safe in Lincoln, Nebraska, and I pointed that out from the beginning. The safest place for our young student athletes is Lincoln, and the safest place in Lincoln is in our facilities. And um, we we emphasize that, and and uh, from the very beginning, and in the end, we're we're getting the result we want. Iowa didn't speak on camera today, but the Hawkeyes did issue a statement on the Big Ten's decision. Athletic Director Gary Barta saying, in part, the medical professionals at every Big Ten institution have worked tirelessly to create strong protocols that can be consistently applied to every campus. The frequency, availability, and reliability of daily testing was a game changer. Hawkeyes head football coach Kirk Ferentz also issuing a statement. This is welcome news for all of our players, coaches, and fans. Our focus is now to train and prepare to compete on October 23rd and 24th. Recognizing the health and safety of our players is our number one priority.